believe it's important as well to be out here and showing your support because this is a father, this is a son, this is someone who left the family behind for being black because he was not making a crime being at a metro station. And if it's gonna be that way, we need to stand up as a community and know that racism and criminalization toward our people is not gonna be taken in absolute discretion. We're gonna voice out it and we're gonna be together because only as a community we will stand toward the hatred and the discrimination this country faces. Um, well, it's important to be here today because we definitely need justice um, in this criminal so-called justice system. Obviously there hasn't been for several years. I mean, this is not just about Oscar Grant, but all the other countless individuals who have been attacked and victimized by police and killed. Amado Diallo, Sean Bell, Julian Alexander, it goes on and on and on. Young, innocent, um, usually black or brown men are harassed and victimized by the police all the time and I'm just sick of it and this is so important for everyone to be here to raise awareness of this issue because it's not over for us. We're going to keep fighting even though that the system is messed up. I just wanted to come out and lend support. Um, I wanted to bring my children out because I wanted to give them a connection to the stories and the events that they hear about on the news. Um, I explained to them that Oscar Grant could have been their uncle, could have been their cousin, and that it's important that we lend support and we stand up in order for them to know that they also can be a part of the change. Because it doesn't matter where we are in America, it doesn't matter if it happened outside of America. It affects our people regardless because we are all oppressed. We are all under the same penalties and under the same disregard of the government that doesn't uh, even think about our human rights and even think about our lives. So this affects our people to the ultimate because not only is he a black brother, but at the same time he was an oppressed brother, like many of our other brothers and sisters in this community. That's why we put so much focus on organizing and showing our support for this case because this brother, like Lavelle Mixon, didn't want to take the oppression. So of course we're going to support the brother. Um, I used to teach in the Bay Area for nine years, and so um, I now teach here in Watts, and the conditions are the same. The, co the, com the conditions that the community faces, um, as I said before, criminalization of youth, um, uh, a whole systemic um, inequity that young people of color face in LA is the same that goes on in the Bay Area. The issues are the same. And so I'm here because I think that it's, uh, like Jasmine said, it's a global issue. Our people are criminalized all over the world for being black and brown. And so we need to be in solidarity wherever we are at because this struggle is the same everywhere.